before I was uh, talking to it was like that and now it <laughs> <laughs> so thank you <laughs> that's really good so what you know Ovi and I had a quick chat he's sharing the process he said that the people that he has enrolled they jump onto a zoom he walks them through shares his screen on his phone with the app walks them through and I said well why don't you organize an event where you invite multiple people onto the same demonstration maybe have a slide are you using any slides uh, very, uh, just the promo and very few if I put okay. it's um, the mobile there. Very, yeah. very, very easy. Simple, basic, and then you're walking people through the Healy through sharing it to your screen. Is that right? Yeah, I'm sharing the screen and I'm sharing directly in the app all the the programs, what every program uh, do, how you use it with bracelets or um, with ear clips. And then, of course, I do the aura analysis and I send them frequencies. It's very useful because like 30% of the people um, feel in real time the frequencies. And mm -hmm. if they had uh, this kind of experience, oh, they are wow. <laughs> we want the device, especially those who, who feel the frequencies. That's awesome. So for me, that's the best way to, to share Healy. And that's, that's a lot of the success I'm having too. And the team who you know, can't go see people in person, uh, that's a re really good strategy. So we're gonna go through that today. That's probably one of the most unique things about Healy is that we have the ability to show people the product, give them an experience before actually they purchase. So for some reason, Facebook Live or Facebook um, connecting to zoom connecting into the group isn't working just yet let me just try this one more time into a group they've updated the uh i don't know website and it's subject to some not working okay so anyway we're recording and uh today i'm going to share my screen So I want to do a quick little recap for the last couple of weeks for those of you who even missed here or you're just jumping on for the first time. This is ABC Mondays, which is all about helping you guys co-create authentic relationships, influential communication and duplicatable systems. In the first talk, we went through the six income levels and how to jump between them, changing our mindset, our skills, our strategies. We then spoke about mindset, breaking that down, the skills, the eight different skills from finding people, inviting people, presenting, follow up, closing, getting people started, promoting events and self care. Then looking at the different systems on finding people, how to actually build a leader, how to um, you know, take someone from a customer and actually start helping them share. We spoke about a bit of a funnel from customers to distributors, to core rank, to leaders, to rockstar leaders. Uh, the six different income levels, which is all about changing a shift in mindset or a shift in skills or a shift in our systems. And we spoke about the weekly checklist as well. So then for week two, we went over to covering avatar. So we talked about creating your own avatar persona. Chantel walked you guys through this process, finding out their age, who they are, what makes them tick, their wants, their needs, their desires. Um, we sent you a few different examples. This is all in the 10K group in the last week's training. It's all in the actual post. So if you miss any of this, all the recordings are there. We spoke about naming them. We spoke about um, giving them a photo as well um, and different takeaways and as, as well as skill one, which was all about finding people. We spoke about different ways of finding people online or offline. We spoke about other social media platforms, how to download Healy videos as well. Uh, there's a link in there, which is in the Google Drive document, as well as uh, an article on actually a few tips on sharing on Instagram. We then also went through the weekly checklist and uh, did a bit of a recap there. So today, what I want to talk about with you guys is skill two. Last week was skill one, which was finding people. But now you've found these people. Maybe you've created this avatar. You know who you're wanting to attract. You're on social media. Maybe you're posting a little bit. You're, you're learning those different skills. And now you want to actually invite those people to Healy. So just put a yes into the chat. I'd love to know who would be excited to learn how to professionally invite people into Healy to take a look. 
let's get a yes, yes, yes going. So for me in the very beginning, guys, like I didn't have, uh, this was the only kind of skill I had around network marketing, which was connecting, um, was it inviting someone to take a look. I wasn't an expert. I didn't know what I know about healing now, but who was an expert in my eyes was Peter. And so for those who know Peter, he was definitely, um, <laughs> he had a lot of work last year, connecting, helping people and before, and he had any of those kind of challenges with tech issues. I was the, I literally in two weeks linked him up with like 50 people. I'm like, Peter, this is this person. Can you tell him about Healy? Can, and I leveraged him a lot. And so a lot of you now leverage me or leverage your, your upline. Um, and that's really beneficial. So we're going to talk about that strategy. I'm just going to figure out how to click this button. Okay, cool. And um, so what we're going to cover here, drum roll, is skill number two, how to invite people. We're going to talk about how to introduce people to a third party professionally, how to professionally introduce your prospect or your friend to someone within Healy. The best place to invite the person for the greatest results is it an event? Is it a video? Is it a you know Zoom call? The four questions that will dramatically help you or will dramatically help your um, people take a look at the opportunity. And so there's a spe specific like structure of questions there as well as some examples. So it's one part of this that didn't really connect here, but please take some notes here, guys, and take the notes in a way that you want to teach this to somebody else. And I would love you to maybe jump on here and kind of recite what we're learning here, just to kind of deepen the understanding and lessons. So skill number two, how to invite people. Now, to give you some, a bit of a frame here, uh, my first month doing this, I probably connected Peter and, and shared Healy with 50 people, right? Whether it was online, a video, um, scanning people in person. There was about 50 people in my first month. And out of those 50 people, six people said yes. And that was the $4,000 full price residence. So this process works. Uh, the key to it, we'll get into some of the char characteristics, but when, when you guys might be very new, you might be doing this already, but the more that we do this skill, the more success we're going to have and it, the easier it's going to be. So if you're open to more ease, more flow, and actually creating more results, and being more professional and more consistent results long-term, this is the strategy that's by far the best strategy. Yes, you can do a Facebook Live or yes, you can do a webinar, but if you master this skill, your results will skyrocket 10x in the next month or three months. And uh, the more that we teach this to the team, the more professional, more results everyone's going to get, right? And so let's break this down. How do you invite someone? Number one is you, okay? It all comes up to us. We get paid for the conversations that we have and the more in-depth, connected conversations, the better, right? It's all about a relationship. And so we then talk to a new person. <laughs> you guys know this is really basic, but this new person has never seen Healy before. Now, those people that chat to you, they're going to chat to you because they like you, they trust you. And the more trust we have, the more connection, uh, the more that they like us, the better. That's really beneficial. Now, what I noticed in the very beginning, when I started doing network marketing many years ago, I was going, you know, to my, some of my best friends, hey, let's get healthy, let's get wealthy together. And they were like, yeah, that sounds really cool. But, um, you know, my job's, you know, I'm, my job is more interesting. And they'd go back to their normal job or they go back to their normal eating pattern. And it was never really a shift in their behavior. And I was like, what am I doing wrong? Wrong. I was saying the same thing. I was saying what excited me. And I was like kind of showing up and like in, saying, hey, let's do this together. But I didn't get any results until I integrated this one missing link. And this missing link is a third party. So third party is somebody else that's not you. A third party is the, the best skill that we can, the, I guess the best um, strategy we can have is the ability to invite a third party to, to um, join in on the conversation with the new person. So this new person has respect, they have authority, they have experience and they have credibility. So in the beginning, I didn't have the experience that I do with healing now. So I leveraged Peter. Peter was my go-to. Peter Zaz, right? Taryn in, in, enrolled him, one of the top leaders. And so, and he only knew a little bit more than I did. It wasn't that he was an expert or anything. He just knew a few steps ahead of me. And so this person could be your upline. It could be a sideline. It could be um, someone from this call, someone from the team, myself. So the skill 
or the identity that I want you guys to kind of master here is a being a connector. Yeah. Introducing the person that you want to learn about Healy with the authority. And then you kind of just get out of the way. <laughs> now this is prevalent. How many of you have had results with a third, with a three-way call with myself or inviting someone, if we just put a yes into the chat that you've had results from this kind of strategy with someone else or with myself that's around third party. Uh, this is really shown. Um, the best way this is shown is at an event or on a webinar, right? You might've invited someone to one of the Healy hangs that we had last year, or maybe you've gone to see a friend and showed them the Healy and, uh, or jumped onto one of the webinars. And then they were going, they were like, Oh, wow. It's not just this person that loves Healy. It's all these other awesome people too. And so it's all about social proof. Teresa, this is the exact, yeah, this is, this happened to Teresa the other day. She um, connected with Chantel, my partner was like, Hey, Chantel, like, you know, do you have any um, tips? And Chantel said, Hey, what you want to do is link Zach with your prospect or link Zach with the person that you're talking about Healy that day. She goes, okay. She connected me with this lady. Um, I connected on a zoom with her. Teresa was, was busy at work and then showed her the Healy and, um, we should actually follow her up to her. So I think she was really, really interested uh, to get started. And she was like, oh, this is amazing. And so this is a process that anyone can do. And if you're brand new, this is vitally important. So in normal business, we think we have to have all the hats on the salesman hat and the accounting hat and the marketing hat. In this, you just have to have one hat on, which is the connector hat, right? Who's got their hat today? Where's my hat? So when I'm going out there, I'm putting the hat on, which is just around connecting. I'm connecting the person based on their goals. I'm having a conversation and connecting them with um, a female if they have the same goals or a male if they, he has the same goals. So this is done through coffee meetings. This is done through what I think why Healy stands out above every other company in the whole world is that we can give somebody an experience of Healy through Zoom right or in person we can scan and we, this is like a tangible result it's it's so cool and so i put a little star here next to the healy scan on zoom because when when tony tony enrolled 14 people his first month i think he spoke to 20 people and the process that he he followed was he got them onto a, he connected them with me on messenger or instagram whoops it's my internet shifting out no, I know. Oh, I'm just going to mute someone. There we go. Um, so if this is making sense for you guys, please put yes into the chat. If this is making sense, we'd love to know that this is all resonating. Um, so Tony, his first month enrolled 14 people. He connected me with 20. Now on some of the Zooms that were doing scans for people, there were six people that I was scanning at once. But there was also some other people there also watching. And so it's the amount of people that we can introduce our prospect to in, in a setting and that's where events are the best way like we don't have many events these days I can hear someone's microphone please mute everybody thank you very much so i'll just go back here so it's all about third-party validation and the unique thing about healy is that we can jump on a zoom we can walk someone someone through this experience it is so special <laughs> like, it is so cool it is really the most simple duplicatable authentic way we can share this right we, we can't go and meet these people that we're connecting with online but we can jump on a zoom and we don't have to be the expert we don't have to know everything you can invite someone who does know something which is just a couple of steps ahead of you and they can be the expert so let the third party talk this is probably the biggest part of this whole strategy because if you jump on a zoom all three of you jumping together you jump on and then you start talking you're not giving the third party person professional or, you know, the, um, the authority time to talk. And this is some of the challenges they jump on, then they are answering all the questions. So the key is let the third party talk. Okay. This can be done on messenger, on text, on Instagram, WhatsApp, telegram. It doesn't matter. It's like any way that you can connect your person with a third party. That's all that matters. And the key, just to reiterate this intro, the person, and then get out of the way. <laughs> not being rude here, guys. I'm not being disrespectful. This is just the best way to do it. You introduce and then mute your line. If you're on Zoom, introduce us. 
like if you're introducing me to someone, introduce us and then mute. Get out of the way. Let me or let the third party validate the, the rest of the conversation. So please take a photo of this. Write this down. Um, this would be something that is really the bare bones basics to this. But I'm going to give you some more of a bit of a strategy on how to actually introduce people. Um, let me just get ask you guys a couple of questions. So, okay, cool. Is this all making sense? Does anyone want to share what they're thinking right now? What's going through their mind? Is this challenging? Is this easy? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I want to say uh, it's a really, really good tip. And like I always come from, I have to do everything myself. <clears throat> so I'm really happy. And um, uh, yeah, I have people, I have all German people in the, like lots of people are interested and they're all not coming through now. Um, and the challenge is that some of them are not uh, the language, not speaking English. That's gonna, yeah, it's gonna help to have the same language for sure. <laughs> So, so who else speaks German? Doesn't Max? Max speaks German. Max, yeah. I could ask him. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, we're all okay. in Max's team. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So he'll, yeah. Connect know, with Max on Facebook in or room. Instagram. He, he should get back to you. Um, or WhatsApp, if he might be in some of the chats. So that would be okay. great. Um, I'm glad that you see this as a way of it's going to be less work for you <laughs> because it is yeah. it literally it's <laughs> leverage and it's teamwork and it's reminding yeah. us that it's not about us it's about it's not about how good we are it's about how well and uh, it, the challenge yeah. or the primary question is like how tactfully and how authentically can I introduce these two people that's kind of the main question that you guys want to have yeah mm. yeah Therese and I think I got a little bit in my own way um, by seeing that they're not coming through as easily as I uh, had the experience before. And pushing hard. And maybe, yeah, maybe creating distance. Right? That's it. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yeah, Therese. Um, so, Zach, thank you guys got me over the line, number one. And she's really happy, um, but I've been keeping in touch. And um, where I found my hat is, is that I've had a year to develop my skills with Healy. So I've been keeping her hat by saying, when you get it, I'm going to run you through the Healy on how to use this thing. And so that's what she's looking forward to. But um, in the, uh, they both were wanting that moment with you to be private. So I was honoring that, even though it would have been a great training tool. It'd be lovely to have some kind of salesy kind of talk set up that we could watch, like how you do that and some recordings of some others that are, you know, like more private. Um, um, but I just forgot what I was going to say then. What was, what was the first question then? Oh, it was just, you know, the, the feedback around this strategy. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely makes a difference. It's the, the two. Um, so uh, the, the first person that, um, that bought, happy with the scan, but you could still feel the ambivalence. It was like, yeah, yeah, good, a mm, couple of things, yeah. It was just that meh kind of thing. And I just thought, okay, so would you be interested in talking to Zach, who's my leader, and he's a health coach. And interested in having that as coming from a health coach level like you're actually adding more credential to that there was more proof yeah yes that was that was the connection that i i found that really got that over the line awesome awesome yeah that, that's that's what it's about and so um for some of those recordings that you're after i've just put the record the google drive in the chat those there's a bunch of recordings in there of how i've kind of gone about doing the recordings. So if anyone wants to watch them, they're nothing special. <laughs> um, so yeah, like it's just walking people through it, having the energy. We're gonna go through some of the tips here. So someone's just try to log into my Zoom. Maybe it's Brandon. Uh, Therese, yeah. Just one thing I would like to know more about is um, objections. 
and handling those related to healing. Yeah, awesome. Let's talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but the, the best strategy for that is they say, hey, um, you know, I can't do it because of this or this reason, the objection. You say, hey, let me just introduce you to Zach again and see what, you know, let, let me get the answers from him, you know, or, or like introduce them back to the third party and use third party validation for every step of the process. You know, if someone goes, hey, I want to do the Healy business now, you go, oh, let me just introduce you to the, the upline. Oh, hey, um, I want to do an event because you probably might be new. You don't know how to do that. You say, oh, let me introduce you. So it's always that connection. And then you don't have to know all the answers. Um, and so, mum, what did you say? You said you, <laughs> you said you should be killing it then. <laughs> do you want to unmute yourself? What did you mean by that? <laughs> oh, it's just, it just is apparent that there's so much opportunity there and I don't pounce. I think I'm just going to be more of a pouncer because I, I think it's a confidence thing as well. Talking about it with someone in the cafe this morning that, you know, you, you make it sound so easy, Zach, like it's all there. And there's so many people to there's so many professionals in the industry and even if they're not professionals they've got professional experience with the Healy and so yeah I'm not utilizing all the that I have in front of me and it makes me feel very uh ungrateful really and not um you know doing the right thing by everyone not only me So you mean like not utilizing this strategy or like everything? No, not utilizing this strategy. It's even, it's easier than me. Like I keep looking out for people, but really I can sit at home and find them like much more probably um, aligned people. Like, oh, I mean, it even happened to me on the weekend. You know, I met someone out Saturday night. She's um, looked through all my Instagram posts. She wants to collaborate with me and, and do some coaching things together. Like, oh, I think the connection like starts to happen, but I've never really seen it so clearly. I don't know. I don't know why. Just saying I should be killing it and I'm not. Well, <laughs> it's because I'm not pouncing. <laughs> well, so are you utilizing this third party strategy in hardly, i've hardly used that strategy okay and, and three-way calls like you i i there's some on facebook but i don't really instigate a lot of them yeah yeah i'm introducing you to people <laughs> i know i'm not the initiator so i just think i've got to take responsibility and you know in the lead as we sort of grow into being more of a leader person you know, i've been following a lot of people and learning about the you know, hey it's only me who can you know, what do they call it? Ready, aim, fire, power, initiate. Like that's what this this that's what this girl was saying to me. She goes, I pounce on opportunity. That's what I do. Well, there's there comes a point where it's like, well, are we waiting for the opportunities to be knocking at our door to go, hey, here it is? Or are we going to be opening the door and walking through it, so to speak? And so there's a moment like, you know, I used to be and I'm still a bit like the best student I can be. And then the best student, I'm going to all the calls, I'm jumping on, I'm learning, I'm taking notes as well, I'm going to teach it. And then jumping on these calls and teaching you guys as well. But there's a point where you guys are a student now, but you'll switch and go, I want to become a leader and lead others. And that's why it's taking notes in a way that you're always going to teach other people, even as one person. But the way that you lead these people is like, okay, you've got this vision, you're going this place. This is, you know, you're co-creating this vision and you're connecting with people. We're going to go through a bit of the strategy now on how to do this, but connecting with these people and finding out what their goals are. You're curious, right? Connecting with them and going, okay, this is your goal. This is what you want. Okay, cool. Hey, there's a solution. We're going to give you some scripts on exactly how to do this with the with the templates in a second. And then you're going, okay, cool. You want to improve. You got back pain. Oh gosh, let me introduce you to my friend Rob. He had back pain and it went from a nine out of ten pain to a two out of ten pain in ten, in ten minutes. I'll introduce you to him real quick. Or like, oh yeah, um, chatting to a naturopath. You know, oh, I'm studying naturopathy. Oh, I've got to introduce you to Tanya. She's a naturopath. She loves Healy. You know, so I'm always thinking, how can I connect these people together? <laughs> it's like you're, I don't know, but we're creating, 
yeah, an art piece together, right? We're constructing belief. And I know that it's not my belief that's going to make, get them across the line. It's someone else's belief sharing it. Say, I could say the same thing, same thing this person, third party says, but they say it because they have an authority perception in this person's new person's mind. And they go, oh, I'm going to listen to this person. I'm not going to listen to Zach. You know, I respect Zach or like Zach, but I actually really respect this person because of their experience. So does that kind of make sense? It's, it's getting you out of the equation. It's being really freaking interested in other people going, Hey, let's do like, cool. I might have a solution for you. Are you open to it? Okay, cool. Let me introduce you to this person and not saying, can I introduce you? It's just like, I'm going to introduce you to this person. It's going to change your life. Like having that confidence of like, yes, like there's going to be success together, you know? And so it takes a bit of time strengthening that muscle of certainty and leading with positive self expectancy, but why not have positive self expectancy that things are going to turn out great. We live in this crazy world. It's up to us. Yes. I want to do this. Who can be my expert? <laughs> so in the beginning guys, you can utilize me. That's why I'm here. And this is a small group. I'm going to give you all my link to my calendar. And you say to these people, Hey, you know, my friend Zach, and I'll show you how to introduce me. And you can say, Hey, he's got times this, this time, or this and this time when suits you. And then you can connect them with me on a zoom. Yeah. Um, that's the easiest system to do it. Yes. Facebook messenger is okay, but um, it gets a bit messy for me to be honest. So this is the system. This is the formula. If there's one strategy out of all the network marketing stuff that you guys have learned to learn that I recommend it's this one. <laughs> this is the one to become really good at. Now, what I want to share with you is how do you introduce the third party? Okay. So say you're introducing Tanya or you're introducing Tracy or myself. How do you do it? This is what you want to do. You want to ask them, ask me, how would you like, Zach, how would you like me to introduce you? Or, Hey Tanya, how would you like me to introduce you to this person? Or, Hey Tracy, how would you like me to introduce you to this, this person? So go and ask them before you introduce them because you're going to find out how to edify them two to three points. You know, Tracy's got an incredible background. Tanya's got an incredible background, right? You want to find the cool things in their life so that these people, when you introduce them, they're going to be like, oh, wow, I got to listen to this person, right? So it's called validation edif edification. Now, when you're showing up in all times, you know, professionally as in a business, if, I recommend showing up with your best self, right? Be your best self, be passionate, be excited because people take noticed, notice of those who are excited and passionate, right? It, it's like... Whatever they're doing, you could be like, this person over here is excited, passionate and doing this thing. You don't even know what they're a part of, what business it is. You're like, I want to be a part of their team because of their excitement, right? And so give yourself permission to be excited. Give yourself permission to be passionate. Give yourself permission to be your best self. So with that as well, there's urgency. Yeah, people are attracted to those who are in movement. Stagnant, stuck people, right? Um, like a swamp. <laughs> no one gets excited to go to a swamp. People love going to the beach. It's movement. You know, it's, it's flowing. It's a resonance. <laughs> so believe in Healy product, company, comp plan, comp plans changing at the moment, but whatever the comp plan is, we got to believe in it, right? Believe in the company, believe in the product. You guys have that already. Otherwise you wouldn't be here, but it's like having that belief just, you know, acting as if, if you don't have that belief, no way are they going to follow you, right? Be emotionally detached from the outcome, regardless if they say yes or no, right? You're going to support them and have an abundance mindset. You are already winning. You know, Th this person that's coming on your team, it's a benefit to them that they come on your team, you know, um, not a benefit to you. You know, you're already abundant. Yeah. So the goal here, guys, is all around education and understanding. Your goal isn't sales and, you know, closing. The goal is education and understanding. So take a photo of that or please take some notes. And so when doing this, you can do this on a chat with someone in a text message, in a voice chat, on a Zoom, in an event. And it's this skill that you'll see at all the many different events, you know, you go to any personal development event or any kind of training, there's always someone that hosts and they then give the person that's jumping on the stage a big edification. They're giving them their whole bio because then the people in the audience are like, oh my gosh, I got to listen to this person. Yeah. So it's creating that value uh, and you guys can create this. So we're doing this in little micro conversations, right? Just three people you're edifying these people. So say someone who um, 
is a female, she might be in the health and wellness space and uh, maybe knows about naturopathy or might be traveling, learning about naturopathy. I introduce her to Tanya and I say, Tanya, she's my mom. She's been in the health and wellness industry for 20 or 35 years. She's helped people, thousands of people get healthy. You know, she's been a part of Healy for over 12 months now and she's got a beautiful growing team and she just loves helping people. I can't wait to introduce you guys. So just like three or four little, three, you know, two or three little points and sharing that with excitement. Um, and they'll be like, oh, cool. I've got to listen to Tanya then, right? Because I they've never heard of this person before. So when inviting people, where is the best place to invite people to? Let me get, let me get a quick little survey going between all you guys. So say you've connected with someone. We're kind of regressing a little bit, but say you've connected with someone, you're having a chat with them and they, and you know that they want to learn about Healy. You said, Hey, do you want to check this out? They're like, yeah, cool. Then what do you introduce them to first? Is it a webinar? Is it an event? Is it a call? Just put it into the chat. What is the best place um, to take someone once they want to learn about Healy? Is it a video? Is it a webinar? What do you think the best place to take someone is? I always invite uh, people to the Facebook group, uh, the frequency experience. That's a great place. Yep. Yeah. So a 10 minute, so adding them into a group, that's one way. A 10 minute video and testimonial group. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one, Ovi. Mm -hmm. Personal face to face. Okay. Event, meeting, webinar. Yep. Offering scan as personal experience, perfect webinar, but I usually send info first, video and Facebook testimonies, fantastic. Where possible, testimony group. These are all fantastic. So, okay, here we go. One short video, frequency experience of the testimonials and meet if they're interested. Good, 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 good. This is awesome. So let me give you from experience, these are in order of best things, best strategy on what's the number one place to take someone to, to learn about Healy. If we had an, at a big event, right? In here in Brisbane, we had people, there was 500, 1,000 people. That is the best place, right? Or even if it's in person, you know, a company event is, in, is best in person or a team event, which might have 20 people or 50 people or five people. With people, that's always the best approach. A company webinar like a Frequency Friday is a good option too. Team webinar, so say the webinars that I do tomorrow, I can give you the link to that. Every single week I do the same webinar. Uh, then looking at say a two, two to one coffee meeting. So in person, there's a few more here in this before you take the photo, but a two to one would be say um, your upline and yourself go and meet a new prospect right? Two people who are into Healy already and one person who's really new to Healy, right? Because it's going to be the best way that they're going to understand it from two different perspectives. When I go to meetings, I take Chantel or Chantel comes along and or she wants and she shares her experience and I share my experience, right? It's two people who believe in Healy sharing it to the one person and that's a really good strategy or video call two people, you know, could be you and myself on a call a Zoom with the new prospect, yeah? that's going to be really beneficial. And then we're looking at social media messages, then groups, then, you know, chats and things like that, because there's not much energy behind that. We're looking, we're in the energy game. We're in the resonance game. There's more resonance and energy in a group on a group webinar or in a group meeting, a coffee meeting, or then a video on a zoom and then social media. So maybe looking at what is your first approach, right? Uh, and shifting this up a little bit. Okay, video is a great way to show someone, but if you could introduce, introduce them straight to a, a webinar with lots of people, that would be even more influential. Does that make sense? So now we're looking at, this is a strategy that, you know, a lot of people will send out videos. Okay, let me ask you a question actually. This is, this is let me get some input. Do you find sometimes that when you send a video out, people don't watch it? Or when you send a link out to someone to watch, jump on a webinar or to come to an event, they don't look at it. They might be busy or what's going on, right? So this is a common, a common thing. So 
please put a yes in there if you'd like a really simple process to help you go from sharing the link online, right? Or even over the phone and actually getting them to look, take a look and actually getting them to take some action and then coming back to you. So this is what we're going to talk about now for a second. So there's a four step process. This is from Eric Warre, um, kind of like the Tony Robbins of network marketing. And he goes through this process. Now I've added a little bit to it, but you know, when trying this out, guys, have fun with it, try it out. Um, even have it as, as message, you know, you can copy and paste this to someone in a text message, or you could say this with a voice. It doesn't matter, but in the beginning, this is kind of the process of it. And the whole idea is to help give them, um, being professional, asking for permission, being professional and asking for a time constraint as well, and getting them to have little commitments along the way so that you're really, um, you know, you're really leading them along a certain path. And I think we have, you know, this responsibility to educate people about Healy. Why not do it in a way that's going to be very, I guess, uniform and professional. So the question would be, if I something, something X, Y, and Z, would you do this? Or is it okay if, so these are the, this is the formula. <laughs> um, I use this all the time, like all the time. So for example, Oops, no, that's the next one. If I sent you a video, would you make time to watch it? Or is it okay? Is it okay if I send you a video? Is it okay if I invite you to this event? Or is it okay if um, I give you a call this afternoon? So this is a formula. If I were to invite you to this event next Saturday, would you be able to make it? If I if I was to give you a free scan with the Healy and send you all the PDFs and show you how awesome the device is, would you make time to come check it out? They're gonna be like, okay, yes. So they say, yes, I wanna check this out. Yes, I'll look at the video. So you then say, when do you think you could see it for sure? Or when do you think we'll be able to find this time for sure, right? This is mainly finding a time of when they're gonna watch a video, yeah? And so now, how he said this was a little bit weird. When have you um, seen this by? So they say, I wanna, I wanna watch it by Sunday. You say, great. So you, you would have seen it by, seen it for sure by Sunday, right? And you're getting confirmation that they've said yes to Sunday. Okay, cool. When is the best time to connect with you to find out what you thought about it? So, okay, so the first part, just to recap, the first part is, hey, if, hey, if I send you this video, would you check it out? They say, yes. Okay, you say, okay, great, awesome. Really excited for you to check out this video. When do you think you'll be able to see it for sure? And they say, oh, this Saturday. So this Saturday, you would have seen it for sure, right? And they say, yes, this Saturday. So they would have watched it. And then, then you say, when is the best time for, you to, for us to connect to find out um, what you thought about it? So that's the four questions here. Take a photo, put these down. But it's literally saying, you know, I'm gonna, send you something when do you have time and getting that time commitment um and then just being really clear on the time commitment and they say okay four you say four o'clock or three o'clock they say okay three o'clock and then you put that into your calendar and then you call them at that time really important that you follow the people up professionally but this is kind of the structure on finding that specific time now i want to break down give you some examples here so if i would you this can be interchangeable and twisted in with any type of anything. So, you know, if I was to make you dinner, <laughs> would, you, would you come along? Or if I were to invite you out to dinner, would you come along? So if I send you a video, would you watch it? If I invited you to a webinar, would you make time to watch it? If I called you this afternoon at four, would you be free? Yeah, if I, would you? It's just a formula, yeah? And then the other one is the, is it okay if? So is it okay if I send you this video? Or is it okay if I add you into this group and tag you in a post? That one's really beneficial. And, or is it okay if I call you this afternoon? It's just moving the conversation forward and it's being, you know, asking for permission the whole way. Yeah. Yeah, take a quick pick. Because a lot of people find that they might send a video out 
but then you don't even know when they've watched it or if they've watched it. It might just be a memory that gets lost. And so having a notepad and pen or, or a journal with all this type of thing and a, and a spreadsheet would be very beneficial just to stay on top of everything and getting those commitments and then putting it into your notes. Okay, cool. I've sent this video to this person. They're going to check it out at four o'clock or they're going to check it out at three o'clock and actually following them up. So, you know, when, when we're talking about the recap today, going from the different jumps in income, we're looking at shifts in our thinking, shifts in a strategy, uh, shifts in our um, mindset thinking. I can't remember the other one. <laughs> so there's, there's different shifts. And so to jump up the income level brackets, there's a new strategy. And so this is a new strategy, a new structure, which might be your next structure to help you move to the next income bracket. So these examples now in my opinion guys you can use these scripts they're great but the missing link is connection the more that we can have a connection with someone the more that we can ask empowering questions the better and so the how we create connection is through being interested and not interesting yeah don't try to tell them all the facts don't try to tell them everything about healing share your story and why you're excited by it which you keep your story to 30 seconds or a minute don't waffle on forever just to create that curiosity. And once they're in, once they're interested through you being interested, then you connect them to a third party. And so what we've gone through today is we've gone through how to invite people. We spoke about the third party validation, how to introduce people uh, professionally with this structure, the different kind of traits, the best place to invite people to for the greatest results and the four questions as well as some examples. So, that is a little bit of a recap of what we went through today. Good little bit of timing. I'd love to ask uh, how you guys are feeling, what you guys are thinking. Or oh, Hendrik, what you do when the process stops? Yeah, like, like for me. Tell us more about that. Do not go to this process. The internet stops. Um, so my question is, what do you do when the process stops about the video presentation or people not getting back to you or they're just giving you a heart or a thumbs up? Do you see it like as a, as a still okay to send the link on or do you see it more as a spammy person? Yeah, so if they reply with a thumbs up <laughs> or an emoji, um, they're obviously just busy and they don't see it as a massive priority right now. There's other values that are important, which is fair enough. We've all probably been there and just looked at a message or just given a quick thumbs up and moved on. So yeah, it would be because there's no connection because there's no, there's none of that third party there. There's none of the authority, that credibility, so to speak. Like if someone said to you, Hendrix, like, Hey Hendrik, um, I'd love to introduce you to Tony Robbins, you know, or some, one of your I idols, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to listen to this person. <laughs> right. Sure. And so it's becoming tactful and like connecting with these people and finding out about them before sending the video and building that value and asking the right questions. And then once you've had a bit of a conversation, you know about their family, you know what their goals are, you know what their biggest um, challenges are. And then, you know, you've, you've maybe spoken on the phone one time, you didn't even bring up Healy, you're just building a relationship and a friendship. And then you're like, hey, you know, last week when you told me that your back's really sore and you've been spending lots of money on the chiropractor, um, you know, if I were to show you a way you could help your back um, by sending you a quick video, would you make time to watch it? You know, because yeah, yeah, sure. it's like linked in with the problem, linked in with a challenge and you've got that connection there. And then they go, oh yeah, for sure. So you might send the video and you go, oh, actually I've got to also, I'd love to introduce you to Zach. He also uses this device for pain. And then you introduce as a third party. So you, you're like coupling different presentation exposures together. So it could be the video, the exposure to me on, on social media or your upline. And if you can compress those exposures in a, you know, it could be over a three month period. They see 10 different exposures with Healy, but if you expose them to those 10 exposures in one week, they're probably going to say yes a lot sooner. And so that's where social media, doing the Zooms, doing the stories, you know, it's multiple, you know, um, um, stories online, different, different avenues. 
they're going to be um, more open to it, you know? Yeah, so try that, Hendrik. Start, lead with the relationship, build that. Because like <laughs> Carsten, he's the top distributor. In his old company, there was one contact that he, that made, it was just one person that created like multi-million dollar business for him. It's not, it doesn't need to be 20 people or a hundred people or a thousand people. It could just be one or two leaders in your team that go and really run with this. And so it's kind of like the farming mentality or the fishing mentality rather than the hunting kind of metaphor and planting seeds, watering the seeds and staying in relationship with these people. And then sometimes some, you know, it's going to sprout into a possibility. So yeah, that's kind of the metaphor with it. And to be a fisherman, to be a fisherwoman, um, to be a gardener is takes some patience. You know, it takes listening, connection, you know, tapping into the natural elements. <laughs> so there's different strategies and there's different times, different seasons that we talk about as well. So sometimes you want to go out and you want to chat to a hundred people or send a hundred messages to people. That's fine. Um, and then sometimes you want to be really nurturing and connecting with these people as well. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Yes, it does. Thank you so much. And I also sent Tony Robinson a message. If he wants to learn how to heal. I'm sure he's got one already, but yeah. Yeah. Why not message these people? And um, we talk about it, the list 100, right? You have a hundred people on your list who are like your favorites. who you would love to have on your team celebrities or, you know, movers and shakers. Um, why not send them a message? We were Instagram. They'll probably use it these days. Um, would love to get a little bit of feedback. What you liked best from this? Uh, what your, what was your one takeaway? Either put it into the chat or jump onto the audio. What was the one thing that you learned from today? Yeah, do, do more three-way calls. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, simple, simple. Awesome. Utilize upline. Don't have to do it all myself. Yes. That's awesome. Lisa. The, my biggest takeaway is to follow the system. Yep. The system is the key. Change my approach. Got it. What's your approach, Renee? The possibility of the, the possibility of the three-way calls, more calls and leverage other people love the three-way call and having an expert on the call simulation simulation useful great don't know what that means sequence to nurture and bring in leader three-way calls yep simply simple strategy and pounce on the resources available so so readily hey renee i would love to know when you said change um change my approach what's your current approach and what do you think you'll change uh, with this hey hi um i'd probably say after call and listening my biggest block would have been I thought I had to know everything I was like doing research after research and after research because I thought if someone asked me a question and I didn't have the answer well wouldn't I <laughs> um so doing it in the three way it would be in, like that's that's great on getting um, someone to be there to support um, the sales or, you know, the process. Yes. Massive. Yes. High five. <laughs> Woo. That, that's, that's awesome. That's music to my ears. Get ready to get bombarded. Get ready to <laughs> Run. So, yeah. no, this is what it's yeah. about, guys. Like, I am. This is where the first philosophy that Brandon and I were sharing within these calls and within the team. It's those that swim towards us that we can work with. We can't work with any everyone, um, and the best way to swim towards us is to yeah link us up with people, <laughs> help us have those conversations with you and for you, and um, and that's going to be a massive game changer. So yeah, having that shift going from you had to know it all. How many of you put a yes into the chat if you felt like you had to know more, just just a bit more or know it all 
to be successful within Healy. Yep. I was, I was the same, but I was lucky enough to have this lesson quite early into the piece uh, where I leveraged other people so much. And you know, the cool thing about leveraging other people is that we learn from those people as well, right? I'm, I'm connecting Taryn. I'm connecting my people that want to learn about Healy with Taryn, with Max, with, with Peter, with all these other people. And I'm, le I'm taking notes with what they're saying. Cause I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. And so you'll learn so much from doing this and we should just do some practices. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't need to be, um, we, we can just ease, ease your way through this, you know, with your list that you have now, I think the actionable step after the call would be circle three people this week that you organize a three-way call, three-way message, three-way call, three-way zoom, just three people this week. Yeah. That's your goal. Put on a piece of paper, put on the whiteboard, one, two, three, three-way chats, and let's see how the results unfold. Cause I know Tracy in the beginning, you're like, Oh my God, you didn't know anything. And you're like, Zach, I need you for this. I need you for this. And I was on calls and zooms and I was sitting in the car and I had my zoom really on and I was sharing this and, and um, you know, you've did an amazing first month. And yeah. so really, yeah. What will it take for us to do that again? And I think it's just doing these three way calls and helping the team do these three way calls as well. Yeah, um, so I think, I think it's really like what you just said then Zach is um getting back out that list and um, and rebuilding relationships with some of the people that perhaps um, have dropped off a little bit, reconnecting, checking in. Um. Well, I think you muted yourself. Sorry, I just muted. Um, yeah, looking for a way to re-engage them back in. Um, what's the next touch point that we can do to bring them back in? Yeah, and having for me, having that urgency around the process and following the process. Awesome. I like that goal, Zach. It's just a, a really simple, easy goal. You know, look for three three-way calls this week, um, and if you do more than that, great. But go for three. That's good. Yeah. Yep. Even right now, guys, why wait now? Like, think of those three people, circle them on the list. Think of write a few people down. You go, okay, these are the people that I want to do a three-way chat. Connect them with your upline or myself today. Don't wait all week. And then you'll go, oh, it's really that easy. And then that person like Teresa goes, oh, wow, I can do this now. And then you're linking me up with more people and that confidence builds. And then, you know, in a month's time, this is really going to build a lot of posture for you. And it's, it's a strategy. Like we talk about confidence. How do you build confidence? And it's finding the routine or the process or the structure or the template and getting really good at that. And then doing that over and over again. And, and we all, you'll all build this belief in doing this third party validation thing that you're learning about today. You'll get really good at it. It's like anything, riding a bike, it'd be a bit tricky, but I'm gonna give you guys, um, I might put it into this chat. I might just quickly find it and share with you how to intro me, how to introduce me and, and um, yeah. So thought I had to know everything. Oh yeah, excited about creating a webinar or getting people onto yours. So about the webinar, webinar jam, um, this is the webinar link. If anyone wants to invite to my webinar every single week, I always say go back to the person to invite who invited you to get started. Um, I'm going to change the wording on that as well because I, I've been playing around with some different titles on there. Um, and then I was concerned about being ready to, I was concerned about the being ready to be a leader, needing to know enough. Yep, yep. Best follow up this is the kind of support i really needed and i wasn't asking enough early on i did ask but i felt everyone was too busy oh yeah this is okay cool this is a great thanks i uncomfortable authentic so i want to give you guys um where have i someone do you have that tracy the original one that i sent you there's like you, a yeah i actually actually i might have it to another phone. Friend. um i can't put it into this chat easy I, actually it's, it's all good yeah. I've, I've got it yeah i've got it i've got it i've got it, I've got it. I've got it my other phone so these are just some examples on how to introduce me right so my bio health coach worked with vitamix i did tv presenting my youtube channel like if you was to, 
if you introduced me saying this stuff, I'd feel pretty special, warm and fuzzy inside, right? You'd really tickle my, <laughs> tickle my ego. But um, these are some things that might be useful. So please take a photo of these, write these out, copy them down. So when you do introduce me, don't just say, hey, Zach, talk to this person. <laughs> like, I've got so, this one lady is so, she's a professional network marketer. When she introduces me, she does a voice message. She literally goes, um, hey, Stacy, so excited to introduce you to Zach. Talks me up. I'm like, who is this guy? This is amazing. She's like, are you got to, and Zach, please talk to Tracy. She just messaged me learning, wanting to learn about Healy. She's amazing. Da -da 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 -da. Short. 30 seconds, doesn't need to be long. That's how she introduces me. It could be a written thing or it could be a voice message on a Facebook message. And um, does everyone know how to set up a Facebook message? That's going to be probably the next little question because I'll, sh I'll show you guys now. Um, okay. So on, on Facebook, you go and create a message. So you go to the top right. Okay, so I don't know what your Facebook looks like. It might be the old version, but the new version is over here, messages. You go create a message, view message, new message. Now, when you go to type the message, you put two people in. So you go, okay, I'm going to put in my upline. You could put in four people. doesn't matter. You could put in five, probably no more than four people, probably a bit too much. And you might go, okay, um, I'm going to introduce Tracy um, to, you know, my friend, Alan. Right. And then I'm going to be like, hey, Alan, this is the, you know, incredible Tracy. And then give Tracy's bio. And I say, hey, Tracy, this is Alan. He's, he's awesome. I've known him for this long. He has a quick question about Healy. Um, can you just share your story when you get a second, Tracy? And Tracy will go, no worries. Um, and might be like, hey, Alan, you know, give us your number. I'll give you a quick call or let's organize a Zoom. And she helps to organize the Zoom as well in that. And, I, and I, I'm there to support and, and remind him and she might be busy and I might come in here and go, hey, guys, you know, when are we doing this call? I'm going to always keep following that up. Um, and so that's just one example. Oh, no, I don't want to send that message. <laughs> that would look a bit weird and random. So is this all making a bit of sense, guys? Is the three-way call also, also for new? Definitely for new people. Definitely for new. This is, yeah, for new people. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was asking also for people who already signed in. Is it also for people to support them? It's a bit laggy for me. Could you say that again? <clears throat> is it also for people who are in this? Word and um, trying to begin to build their business. Yeah, so is this for people who are beginning to build their business? Yes. At every step of this process, the strategy would be to, okay, cool. I'm going to introduce you to this person. I'm going to introduce you to that person and they're going to share the strategy. Like, um, yeah, it's 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 like imagine this. Yeah, I can link you my my um, calendar. This imagine this when someone gets started, right? Even once they start with the Healy, they've bought the Healy, they've got it through you. Maybe you've connected with someone. Maybe you haven't. You're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna connect you with your support team, right? It's gonna be two people, it might be two people or three people. I'm going to introduce you. So it'll be three separate messages with three different people and saying, hey, who are usually a part of the same team. And so, for example, when my partner got started on our leg, I introduced my partner to um, Tracy, Savannah, Tony, people that were on that leg to share that support because it's her success. Like there's other people in your team that are running with a business or you could reach out to that are adding to your team and to adding to your business. And so I'm always linking, imagine if that person and they go, Hey, I want to do the business. Okay, cool. Remember those three people. I'm going to introduce you to another two more people who want to do the business as well. And they're going to be your support. It's going to be the upline, 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 upline. Um, there's going to be different levels of, I guess, agreement and support, but it's like, Hey, I'm just letting you know, there's three to five people here. If I'm busy, you can talk to them or organize calls with them or jump, you know, 
jump on their Zooms, follow their social media, you know, copy what they're posting. So it's it's all about linking and building little groups. In the army, they do f- groups of five, like little secret service groups of five people. Um, and like on the council, there's only five or six of us um, for the Healy Council. So does anyone have any questions? Who's already connected me with someone on Facebook? <laughs> um, all right, guys, I'm going to stop the recording.